tell me why, uh, uh, what started the project? Um, one day I woke up in Beijing and, and I became inspired by smog, okay. which uh, may sound uh, peculiar, but, but it was something that inspired me because on one hand I love technology, I love progress, I love sort of thinking of the future, but looking from my room in Beijing on Saturday I could see the city, yeah, the trees and the people and the roads, um, but then on Wednesday and Thursday it was completely covered with smog, with air pollution. And on one hand, I beca it was very sad to see that, eh? like you, you, you know that people live two years short, their children have long cancer when they're eight years old and things like that. But on the other hand, I was like, hmm, maybe, I can, maybe I can use this to design. Eh? If Van Gogh has its paint, maybe I have my, my smog particles. And that was sort of the beginning of the project. Um, I think a project like this, which is about technological innovation, but also social innovation, um, in the beginning is very ungrateful. And that's, that's, that's what was is particularly with this project. I mean, we've, we've done a lot, eh? like light emitting bicycle paths, dance floors which produce electricity, uh, landscapes which react to your sounds and your motion, and things like that. But here it really was in the beginning that a lot of people said like, no, you cannot do it, it's not allowed, it already exists, etc., etc. Um, but I'm very happy in the, in the year, year and a half now that we worked on it, we are now in the phase that people say, oh, this is really good, why did you not do this before? So, so we, we had to turn a lot, and, and, and that was a challenge, but it's, it's there now. Oh, when, I first saw, when I first saw Project the idea, I'm like, oh, there's Dan trying to save, he's saving us from ourselves. <laughs> well, in a way we are. Well, we, have to, we, have to, we, have to, we have to enlighten ourselves, for sure, and, and use not just technology, but also creative thinking um, to make cities more livable again. And, and, and you know, in smog, it's such a sensitive topic in a political sense, because every city has a problem, not just Beijing, also Rotterdam, where, where, where we are right now in the Netherlands. But nobody really knows how to get to the final answer. And, and waiting for just government is, is boring. Um, so I'm a designer, I'm a maker, I'm an inventor. So let's use the team skills and my skills um, to, 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 to build bridges towards a clean future. Yeah. So yeah. where, did, where, did it, where did the first line, what was the first line drawn? Where, where did you first start? Well, we started to do some smaller prototypes test in Beijing, um, harvesting the smog, sucking it up from the sky, cleaning it, and, and, and looking what, is sort of what was sort of captured in the small particles. And it was sort of incredibly disgusting uh, to look at. They were like, oh my God, this is actually like in our lungs right now. Eh? And I was like, wow, uh, that's insane. You did like, like, like um, even in the Netherlands, living uh, in Europe, uh, living next to a, a highway is the same like uh, smoking uh, 17 uh, cigarettes per day. It's like, fuck, it's like, that's amazing. Why do we accept that? Eh? Uh, um, um, so that's also the notion that we say, okay, one, we want to create a place of future where people can smell the future, where they can feel it, but B, it should not just be sort of technological blah 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 thing, because then people will be like, oh, okay, okay, and we just can continue our lives the way we do, but we have to create an engagement. And so the notion of the smog-free rings, compressing the smog particles and making it something that you know, you would give your, your new wife or your new uh, uh, husband to, to, which actually is happening right now, um, starting a crowdfunding campaign to, to make sure that not one company or one city would claim the project, but that, that it would sort of be distributed among the crowd was very important. Um, and it's been a journey, but uh, we, we were, we're in the end of chapter one now. Did yeah. you right away want to do a Kickstarter campaign or were you reluctant to it? Um, it's a lot of work. So for a young design firm, um, it was a very important decision to say, okay, we're gonna do this, whether I have to rob old ladies on a Sunday night, or, you know, like, because people were hesitant in the beginning, I have to say. Um, so we financed the research and development and the first design ourselves as a design firm, because we have commission projects, but I also think it's very important to self-commission, otherwise we're just copy-pasting the success of what we're doing there. Yeah, and, and otherwise we're just copy-pasting what we already have done, and which is boring. And I think in the long term also, uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, bad news. Um, but later on we realized, okay, we want to engage with the city, so Rotterdam plugged in, um, and the crowd was important to give it the final push. Yeah.
how do you pitch it to the team at first? Like, I'm not picturing you coming back from Beijing with this, with this, this like angry. Oh, that's a good you, question. Were you angry? Were you? No, I was just incredibly sad. Okay. And 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 especially when you start to do some homework and and realize that every city has this problem, and 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 a lot of people are aware of it, but they they feel passive. They don't feel enabled to be part of the solution. They're just part of the problem. It's exactly like, oh, it could be worse. Like yeah, like yeah, the, uh, or we all die or stuff, you know, like it's like, oh, are you are you insane, you know, like so So we're very careful how we look like online and that should be punctual and we check it every bloody five minutes But we don't care that sort of two years of our life are being taken away Okay, well, wow um, um, No, how I work is, 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 is um, I make sketches or I write short stories in the airplane uh, back home, um, I spend a lot, in, a lot of time in China, and then I put it on the table, and 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 they're already a bit sort of like okay, and then and then I'm like okay, this is it. I'm not sure what it is yet, but it, it has to be finished in four months, and uh, and then we get to work. Yeah. So that's how it starts. Yeah. Uh, why why China? Like why? Did you, I guess it could have been anywhere else, but China was the worst, right? Like. Yeah, in China, uh, I have a personal. We have a second studio in Shanghai, so the, the the design firm is already sort of connected with that. It's a country which is in a huge development. It's very easy to judge, like oh, you're polluting, but actually, the camera which you're recording with, with uh, this story uh, most likely is made there. So, as Marshall McLuhan once famously said, at spacecraft Earth, there are no passengers. We are all crew, so we're connected with it, whether we like it or not. So don't judge, but come up with proposals. And, 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 and to start in Beijing and to meet with the mayor and to address the issue, um, I think if we, if we make the statement there, then, then, then you've sort of, that's sort of the gateway to Wuhan, Shenzhen, uh, Guangzhou, Shanghai and other cities. So then it's also a political statement and that makes it interesting. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have to convince uh, China very much, did you, when you through this project, or was it? Like Every project uh, has, has sort of hesitations. Uh, um, I can remember a vivid uh, story that in the beginning we had some meetings with representatives of Beijing, important meeting, and they just launched a 165 million US dollar program for the war on smog, uh, which they started three, uh, three and a half years ago. But a lot of it is sort of based by, by replacing factories to less inhabitant places, or say, oh, you should go really cycling. But everybody adores the car, and so we finally got the meeting scheduled with these people who had the key, so to speak. We're like, okay, yes, this is it. Eh? Like we, we do it, and um, they walked inside and 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 looked me from a this sort of quick scan me from top to bottom, and asked one question, uh, not how much, which I thought they would ask, not when is it finished, but where's your boss? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah. I am the boss, <laughs> and 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 of course, in a sort of completely hierarchical system, um, it's insane that a, a 36-year-old guy uh, comes up with these kind of things in their imagination. I think it's very normal. I think the new generation has this power and is doing that in way more Im ways one can imagine. But okay, so shitty meeting. We went home, did not give uh, give up. So we went back with our minister of science and education, Yet Bussemark, our Dutch minister. And she went along and said, yeah, okay, this is an important guy, we checked it, and blah, 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 blah. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, no, not as a parent, as, an, as, a, as, a, as someone in their world, which they, which has an authority. So I'm naive. I always think that the idea will convince people, but some systems work differently. So I'm, why am I telling this story? Because you have to be creative as a designer. So sometimes you, you have to push it. When you're under a shower, and you want more warm water, you can do more warm water or less cold water. And so there are always different ways how to make something happen. And in that way, it was a complete challenge to make this stuff happen. But I enjoyed it. And, and, and um, now they are, okay, this is important, we want to do it. Olympics is coming up. Um, and, but if they're going to wait too long, we'll just go to India or Paris or LA. I mean, uh, I'm not going to wait. You're right that you mentioned Olympics because they always, the news always brings up the small problem in China when there's an Olympics or a big event. Yeah. Because it's not, on, it's not, it's not covered every day. And so if you think your, your, your project will kind of fall, like it will be going on, right? It'll be, it'll For sure, yeah. Are you afraid that it's going to disappear as in like people maybe even get used to it? Are you worried about Sorry, in what? Will they get used to the project as in like, 
it'll fall into the landscape and people will start saying, okay, well, this is a project, but I will, do you think they'll, be, they'll, they'll want more of it? Absolutely. Yeah. What I think, what my next step would be to do 10, 15 of them in places in the city where so the children can play outside when the smoke pollution is too high, now they have to stay inside. So we have a generation between 8 and 12 years old which grows up behind a computer screen. So they, they grow up thinking that everything has a bloody download button. Okay, that's sort of insane. Um, um, and we always focused on public spaces, which are for everyone, which so you don't have to buy a ticket. I mean, we got the public, uh, the, the, the private investors, the capital investors were like, oh yeah, we do this for the happy few and they will, the rent will go up, etc. gated community. Um, but I believe you should say no many times to create a good yes. It's something we can always do later, but the first one has to be collective, super important. Um, so that's the beauty of a designer, you can, you can say no, or not now. And realizing that is as important as the type of material you use, the detailness, the technology, the refinement. Uh, I mean, I think I think you, yeah, you should you should you should you should be aware that you have this. Um, yeah, you can you can empower yourself in that way, and it's very important. Yeah. Were you scared though? Like, were you did that keep you up at night? The the fact that maybe your Kickstarter wouldn't go well. Like, no, no, no. No, you're totally. No, I, I could I could feel the enthusiasm and Plan B was robbing old ladies on a Sunday evening. So I mean, we we would have managed the goal either way. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. What was the most difficult part of this project? Um, I think it's such a big topic, such so such a sensitive topic. So everybody sort of wants to act, but is at the same time scared that if they participate, people will blame them for being the cause. Yes. So you have this sort of weird limbo situation. Um, and so what we did is sort of pushed it ourselves. So we spent our own time, money and energy. Now it's there. And now the mayors of Kazakhstan, uh, we, we have Paris, we have, I'm going to Mumbai in two weeks. I was in uh, Sao Paulo last week. Now it's being tactile uh, and, and realized. And so now it, it, it's matured and shareable. But in the beginning, an idea was fragile. You know, it's, it, it needs to be cherished. And you need to have leaders who, who have the guts to invest in new ideas out of love for the future, out of sheer desperation for the future. I don't really care, to be honest. And, and so that was difficult to create a connection. Um, um, but in the end, for me, it is about true beauty. When you look at the Van Gogh bicycle path that we did, the light emitting, people look at it and everybody loves it. And, and we're building them in different versions all around the world. But it's sort of easy to like it, yes? It's sort of very, ah. <laughs> And, and this, but this for me has even a higher level, this smoke free project has a higher level of, of beauty because it's about sharing clean air, about working together to make it, to improve life, to not design another bloody chair or lamp or table. That's not design anymore for me, uh, but it's about sort of updating reality. And, 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 and that's incredibly fascinating to be pioneering into that. Yeah. But then the, the, the results, you won't see the results in your lifetime. I'm telling you, if, you, if people will, will be using this, will be the children will be playing in this park. Yeah. The results aren't. People want quick results. They want. Well, this is this is a, this is a quick result. You have a local solution, uh, a park which is 75% more clean than the rest of the city. So that's very direct right now. Uh, return of investment or whatever you call it in the capital world, hard capital world. I'm soft capital world. So <laughs> this is a, this is a hard capital world. Uh, 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 but but the long run is is that that it, that 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 you create a smog free movement, and that people will work together, scientists, artists, designers, NGOs, government, to say okay, what do we need to do to make whole city smog free? So for sure there will be a time when my grandchildren or children um, will ask me okay, Dan, so daddy, what or grandpa or whatever, <laughs> you, what, what 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 did you do when you were young? And then I say okay, I made roads which emit light at night gets charged at daytime and I made places which are smog free and I hope that they will sort of you know like frown and shake their head and say, well, well, why is that special that that already exists all the time all the everywhere why, why did you spend so much time on that it's already the new default uh, 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 um, so no I will never be a part of that and yes that 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 that, that is okay yeah that's okay yeah yeah um. 
Because I, I okay. Because what you this is a this is a piece of a puzzle, a bigger picture. Right? Absolutely, there are no easy answers in in the new world. So we're sort of the old world is crashing in terms of economy, in terms of energy. And at the same time, the new world is sort of unknown. We're sort of prototyping the new world. We're also a bit scared of it. Will robots take our jobs? Uh, uh, are, are we plugged into the, to the, to the cloud? And what does our fantasy mean? What does craftsmanship mean, etc.? Uh, uh, but I think that's the role of the designer, really, to, to say, this is our playground. There are so many questions. Nobody has ideas uh, in the big industries. Or there is a big desire for new ideas, let's put it like that. So it's a new playground. So I think the role of the designer is to make radical statements about the future of mobility, the future of energy, the future of health, the future of beauty, of poetry. And, and, and you see that shift coming up. Uh, so I would encourage designers to be curious towards that because it's a new playground. Um, um, where you can sort of shape what you want to do or or, or, or don't want to do. Yeah. Damn, why don't you run for mayor then? Or like. Well, that, that means I'm, <laughs> if I run for mayor, it means that I'm talking the whole day instead of just now, <laughs> which would be incredibly boring. Uh, no, I, I'm a maker. I'm a maker. You're a maker. I love making things. This is this is you know the fact that you have this idea, it's sort of a taste in your mouth, um, but you don't know the ingredients yet, and then you start to read, to write, and make mistakes. And then, uh, okay, and then prototype, and then oh, interesting, and then you upgrade, and then suddenly it's there, and then you you give it back to the audience. So the moment we are putting this online, it's shared. You know, it's like people can see it and they can react to it, and it's for everyone. But right now, it's still just for me. <laughs> it's still my baby. So, and I like that. And 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 it, it, like with all the respect to the great mayors, this world has. Uh, I would miss the the, 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 the tactileness, the material aspect. Um, yeah, yeah, and and it, I would I I like to be a happy infiltrator. So you give me a system, I look at it, I question. Why do we shut down streetlights at night? Why do we accept pollution? And then sort of make my own obsession, my own personal interpretation of how I think it should be different. And if you disagree, fine with me. But I don't care about opinions. I care about proposals. So I, I really believe that people who live in a city should not be taxpayer, but feel like citizen. Should not feel like a consumer, but as a maker. And and this is one of the most important shifts we are in right now. Uh, fed and and sort of um, enlarged by new technologies, but most important by a new mentality. Yeah. So it's exciting to be part of that. Yeah. Uh. What would you What would you say to the younger generation that? Hey, I'm still young. <laughs> it's okay. The, God the, damn it. The toddlers. <laughs> the toddlers. No, I don't say anything. Uh -huh. They're They're, they're going to figure it out themselves. Yeah, they don't need me for that. What do you see a city being like with this with this project in in in, in between skyscrapers? What do you What do you think? Okay, so what What's the What's the horizon? Exactly. What do you see the city being? Oh, do you see it being a contradiction between each other, or do you see it being all connected? When you Google Ant Hill Concrete BBC, you find a, a movie where a, a brilliant, crazy scientist uh, puts concrete in an abandoned ant hill, and they start to, it dries out, um, and then they start to dig away the earth, and they discover this incredible, fascinating system of tunnels, of bubble. I mean, these guys have air conditioning way down below, no electricity. There's a sort of geometry in it which would make Buck Bunas the Fuller cry, uh, 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 for sure. And so they are operating as a network. And it's the, the Marshall McLuhan quote, the spacecraft Earth. We are all passengers. We're not just, there's no crew or something. We need to do it together. And, and, and so, 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 so how can we create a city where all the waste is food for the other? Or how can we create a city, a city which actually generates energy? Or how can we create cities where, we're, where we can disconnect? You know, where there's just a square and I come there and everything gets blocked. So I just, I'm just there. Or where there's a city where I'm super connected. So I walk into a grocery shop store and, and the store says, oh, hey, Mr. Rose Garden. And, Oh yeah, yesterday you had pancakes. You might want to try this sort of, or or, or don't buy another black T-shirt. You know, you already have eight. Or you know, like sort of this sort of this buddiness, uh, which and it's okay. You know, you get so we will be in this 
handshake deal between privacy and luxury. Um, so I, I would love to have a city which, which sort of knows me and, and feeds me and, and um, I think in a way every project that we've done from sustainable dance floor to intimacy to June to Van Gogh to the smart highways to the small free project we are doing right now which we realized in the, in the past five to six years all these things um, are, are great designs but are also just uh, prototypes for the smart city of tomorrow and it's sort of great to be a part of that and to learn from that and, and materialize and uh, but you'll see the coming projects in the five to six eight months will be more larger scale so we're working on a 32 kilometer dike project design here in the Netherlands um, some radical designs for Olympics uh, new type of bicycle lanes which more are reactive to humidity or air or, or, or the weather uh, uh, so weather interactions um, so that's going to be exciting, yeah, yeah. So stay tuned. Do you think? Do you think that the, there'll be a clash between older and younger generations with these new projects? Do you think the older generations are oh, we don't need this right now, and the younger generations obviously will know we'll need this? Do you think we'll see that? Do you think we'll have my mm. friend, my father barely uses the internet, let alone? Yeah. Do you think there'll be a... No, I think, I think curiosity goes through all the ages, uh, to be honest. I mean, I see elderly people online doing great stuff and, and sort of getting connected in ways which were unimaginable 10, 15 years ago. Um, what I do see is that because of a lot of standards are changing, people, a, a large community gets scared and, and it becomes conservative. And some become curious, so, so maybe the role of the designer is to trigger playfulness and curiosity because that, that's the only way of, of sort of uh, creating systems or creating places which are future-proof. Um, so the, maybe the clash is already there. Uh, uh, um, it's really weird for me as a, as, as a maker, as a designer, that we're sort of feeding the virtual world with our dreams, our hopes, our, our loves, our money. Uh, um, and at the same time, the, the material world is clashing. The same generic shopping malls, the pollution we have. Um, the cars which are just you know like a bad idea really well designed and so it doesn't make sense anymore and can we make things where sort of these worlds get connected again um, um, so that that sort of the yeah this virtual and, and physical world uh, meets I think a lot of the projects that I'm do that the dreams that I have are about that